Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be the first on electric circuit analysis series, wherein we're going to solve problems starting from the very basic concepts of circuit analysis, going to the more complicated ones as we move along with the series. So for today's video, we're going to start with charges, voltage, and current. So we're going to solve problems and then I'm going to give you some practice exercises at the end of the video. But before we start, if you're new to my channel, please uh, subscribe and hit the like and notification bell so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you very much and let's get started. So the first problem is, if 1.9 microcoulombs of negative charge is removed from an initially neutral body and later 19.5 times 10 to 11 electrons are added, what is the final charge of the body? So we are given the initial body which is uh, neutral. So let's say this is the neutral body initially. So the charge will be, uh, since, it is, since this is a neutral body, the, the initial charge, let's denote it by QI is equal to zero. And then later on, uh, 1.9 microcoulomb 1.9 microcoulomb of negative charge is removed from that body. So that means when we remove this uh, 1.9 microcoulomb uh, charge from the body, this body will become positively charged with the same amount of uh, the charge that we remove, but positive because we remove negative charge. So this will become 1.9 microcoulomb. Okay, and then another 19.5 times 10 to 11 electrons are added to the body so we added negative charge because we added electrons so that's 19.5 times 10 to the 11 electrons okay but since the, the number of electrons is given not not the charge we need to convert this we need to express this 19.5 times 10 to the 11 electrons in terms of charge in columns so in order to do that, we need to use the, the constant in uh, one column, there are 6.24 6.24 times 10 to the 18 electrons. So we're going to use this conversion factor. Okay, so in order to get the charge, uh, we're going to divide 19.5 times 10 to the 11 by 6.24 times 10 to the 18. So let's denote this by... Q uh, added is equal to 19.5 times 10 to the 11 electrons divided by 6.24 times 10 to the 18 electrons per column. So this will give us uh, 0 0.31 micro -coulomb. So this is the amount of charge added to the electron uh, to the neutral body which is negative because we added electrons. Okay? So therefore uh, after adding this uh, amount of electrons we basically added 0 0.31 microcoulomb negative charge to the body. Okay? And then in order to find the final charge of the body, let's say Q final is equal to the sum of the charges. So positive 1.9 microcoulomb minus 0 0.31 microcoulombs. So therefore the final charge will become 1.59 microcoulomb positive. Okay, so that will be the answer for problem number one. Problem number two. Two negative charges, Q1 equals 4 microcoulombs and Q2 equals 16 microcoulombs, are 15 millimeters apart. Calculate the force between them. The force between two charges can be calculated using the formula F is equal to K times Q1 times Q2 divided by R squared. So F here is the force between the two charges in newtons, force in newtons, and K is a constant equal to 9 times 10 to the 9th. Q2 and Q1 are the charges, Ch 
charges in coulombs and r is the center to center distance in meters between the two charges since we have all the values we need to calculate the force we just simply substitute all the values to the formula so f f is equal to k which is 9 times 10 to the 9th times q1 4 microcoulombs times q2 is 16 microcoulombs and the center to center distance in meters is 0 0.015 meters okay so take the square of that so therefore the force between them is 2560 newtons so the force between them will be repulsive force because they are both negative charges so repulsive so this is the answer to problem number two problem number three if 40 joules of energy is required to move a charge of seven coulombs from one point to another what is the voltage between the two points the voltage between the two points is given by the formula V is equal to W divided by Q. Uh, v here is the voltage voltage in volts between the two points. W is the energy energy in joules and Q is the charge in columns okay so therefore V voltage between the two points will be 40 joules 40 joules divided by charge is 7 columns so therefore volts will be 5.71 volts the voltage between the two points is 5.71 volts Problem number 4. How much energy is required to move 70 times 10 to the 18th electrons from one point to another if the voltage between the two points is 20 volts? From the formula V is equal to W divided by Q, we need to rearrange the formula in order to give us the energy instead of the voltage. So therefore, this will be W is equal to V times Q. So we have the voltage now which is 20 volts voltage is equal to 20 volts but then the Q needs to be determined from the number of electrons so therefore Q is equal to 70 times 10 to the 18 electrons divided by 6.24 times 10 to the 18 electrons per coulomb so electrons will cancel out and 10 to the 18 will cancel out. So Q will be 70 divided by 6.24, which will be 11.218 coulombs. So we're going to substitute this uh, Q to the formula. So therefore energy will become 20 times 11.218. Therefore it will become 224.218. 36 joules Question number 5 If 300 microcoulombs of charge pass through an ammeter in 8 milliseconds what will be the reading in the ammeter So current is the rate of flow of charge per unit of time so therefore i is equal to q over t So i here is the current current in amperes Q is the charge in columns and T is the time in seconds okay so if we substitute the value I will be Q which is 300 microcoulombs divided by time which is 8 milliseconds if we calculate that, it will give us a current of 0 
0.375 amperes or 37.5 milliamperes. Problem number 6. How long does it take for 120 microcoulomb of charge to pass through a point if the current is 30 milliamperes? From the formula, current I is equal to Q over T. We just need to rearrange the formula to give us the time instead of the current. So therefore, T will be equal to Q divided by I. Substituting the values, T is equal to Q, which is 120 microcoulomb, divided by current, which is 30 milliamperes. So this will give us time equal to 0 0.004 seconds or 4 milliseconds now that we have solved some problems about charges voltage and current it's time for some practice exercises good luck and thanks for watching see you in the next video god bless